former England and Wasps uh, front row prop. I, I genuinely believe tag is actually a great basis for any player to start. It gives, uh, in terms of tag, it, it gives you awareness, it gives you a knowledge of the game. So my name's Catherine Spencer, I'm a patron of Tag Rugby Trust and a former England uh, rugby player and captain. I've got so much out of rugby over the years and out of sport. Um, it's nice to be able to, as cheesy as it sounds, put that back into areas of the world that might not have the same opportunities. Hi, my name is Lindsay Anfield. I first got involved with the Tag Rugby Trust um, 10 years ago on the first tour that they did to Zambia. This one's been particularly special because back in England I coach England students, rugby league, um, so I brought some of the girls out with me to uh, experience um, a Tag Rugby tour. Today's the last day of um, the coaching in the schools. I've been here for three days and it's really good to see how everything's changed from the first day when I was very nervous and the first group of kids that came in were quite nervous. But it's great to see how enthusiastic everyone's got once the nerves have gone. So the first day we had, like, the first school we went, like, many, many kids were like they wanted to play tag, it was my first time, I was so scared. It's like, how will I going to handle this? Like there were 80, I couldn't like, wow, how am I, how am I going to start? Because there were so many. It's like I said, I can't do it. The second day, I was so free. You can see the children blossoming just by even just the slightest game that we play, they, they take it all, everything in so much. And it's the appreciation that they have for the game and everybody else is absolutely amazing. They just want to be around you and it's just a great experience to like have them want you here as much as you want to be here. But it's not just about the children, it's about schools getting together, their teachers getting together and also having the family support as well. The week's been really, really tough. We've done loads of coaching in the morning with the kids, which everybody's loved, and then in the afternoon we've done some training with uh, Spence and uh, Claire Purdy, which has been immense. So today's challenge for me and Spence, we have taken the girls, some of them have played for Uganda, the under-23s, some of them are aspiring to play for Uganda. My role today was to take them through the technical training, um, only bits and pieces that they can take away with them. So the, what we started off with, I got the girls to do some little drills that we were doing as warm-ups. And it's all about, especially here, we haven't got the kit that we would have in the UK. So we haven't got tackle pads, we haven't got enough balls, we haven't got um, weights to lift, we haven't got uh, dumbbells and stuff. So what can we do and what can we show them to use without that equipment? So a lot of it is our own body. And even in afternoon session, where we were coaching them the, the session we were giving them skills and working techniques we were asking them to become coaches as well so they would watch their own team train and give what our feedback that they were giving to their own players so you could see um, Peace was actually a real prime example of someone that 
I said, right, this is what we're going to do, go away and coach it. And you saw us straight away get into a coaching mode, and that's what you want to give them, is a little bit of coaching knowledge that they can go back to their own clubs with. I am Beatrice, a team, and I'm a coach at the moment. So the girls that I coach, Ibaka, who came up from TAG, they started playing rugby from their, tag rugby from their respective schools. Then when they got past the primary seven, they had to upgrade and join the under 19 team that I'm coaching right now. In fact, they've been performing so well. The coaching has become so very easy because they really know the basics, thank you tag rugby. And on pitch, they've been winning all their tournaments, all their tournaments, and they've been performing really, really, really great. I'm fortunate Iran Kunda. Uh, tag rugby, I was initially a rugby coach. I play rugby for Uganda, I'm a national prop. In 2012, I was introduced initially to the game. I went for a tag rugby tour, I did a tag rugby level one coaching, refereeing, media, reporting, tournament organizing. So every year I would, have, I would get an opportunity of advancing uh, from level to level. And as I speak, I am the top tag rugby educator in Uganda and I'm so proud of it. My name is Dorothy Nekesa. Tag rugby has helped me in very many ways because it's from tag rugby that I got skills to be able to play. I've not only gotten skills as a player, I've also been able to get managerial skills. A lot of what I'm doing now was through tag rugby tutoring. You find that uh, the crop we now have at national team level for both men and women are tag rugby products. So I'm just happy that I joined Tag Rugby and I don't regret at the end of the day. It makes me happy, it gives me life. Everything I think is rugby now. My, my blood just runs rugby, Tag Rugby, everything. The first time I played Tag Rugby, I feel part of the community. Tag Rugby was the first game I played as a child. The first time I played Tag Rugby, I felt happy. Uh, tagline, if you like, is building futures through rugby, and I can see that definitely happening um, through individuals that I've met um, here in Uganda and other countries, but also the development of the community clubs, um, at the development of an infrastructure, if you like, of, of people um, and also facilities. And uh, I guess one day our aim is really that we don't need to come back um, because this is all happening without us and, and people out here are, are forging their own way.